How's it going everybody and welcome back. This is Wake Run Collapse. Welcome back to the Through the Years series, which I have not uploaded for in quite some time, uh, but I really like to get back into it. Today we're going to be going through the Flygon cards that have been released in the Japanese TCG over the years since it was first announced and released as a Pokemon. Uh, so if you are uh, interested in seeing another Pokemon in the future in this series and seeing some of the cards from my Japanese collection for that Pokemon, leave a comment in the comment section below. Below and let me know and if you see a mon that's down there that you would be interested in seeing make sure you upvote that comment as well it's a good way to see how everybody's feeling about those cards and what people want in general because if you just have this crazy like wild vote thing then it gets out of control uh, but if people see something that's on there and they're interested in it that little upvote helps support that commenter as well as the idea for me as well so uh, there are 19 flygon cards that have been re released in total uh, for Japanese TCG collectors I definitely don't have them all I've actually only got 14 of them uh, there are a few um, third gen promos that I'm missing uh, there's a fourth gen deck card and then there's a box promo for freeze bolt that I don't have as well uh, but uh, we will be showing what I do have uh, which is a which is a decent amount it's 14 cards uh, first flygon card was from rulers of the heavens I'm gonna adjust this lighting just a little bit that's better way back in 2003 flygon got a holographic card in rulers of the heavens and there it is on the exact same day in Japan, uh, they released a Flygon constructed starter deck with this holographic Flygon inside. So pretty interesting that it had never gotten a card before and then it got two at the same time. Uh, now Flygon of course rocked a lot of colorless action uh, at the beginning of, um, of its TCG life. Uh, here's the very first Flygon Old School EX. This card is from Mirage Forest, looking really nice. Love the selections they have for old school EX cards. And right here we've got a Delta Species Flygon, Grass type from Hall on Phantom. Really like the way the green and you know, the holographic in the card kind of complements the Mon that they chose. But it wasn't done with Delta Species, in fact it moved to a new type just two sets later in Offense and Defense of the Furthest Ends with this Psychic type Delta Species Flygon EX. My favorite set, not my favorite Flygon card, but still pretty rockin'. And if you thought it was done getting old school EXs, you would be just a little bit wrong. Because there's one more Flygon EX. This one is from World Champions Pack. That really special set. It's so hard to complete. Pretty groovy. Coming up next is going to be Bonds. Is it Bonds? No, it's not Bonds to the end of time. It's one after that. Uh, this one is going to be a Shining Darkness uh, Fighting slash, well, really, Ground type uh, Flygon Holographic card. Really showing off its versatility uh, with all these different types of cards. But yeah, that one's Diamond and Pearl 3, Shining Darkness. Uh, going back to its roots of being colorless in Platinum 2, this one is the Flygon Hollow from Bonds to the End of Time. But it's not the only Flygon card in the set, because it also received the Level X treatment in Bonds to the End of Time, and here it is for you. This is probably number two on my list of uh, Flygon artworks. Uh, to me, the best is yet to come, but of course, all that kind of stuff is subjective. Uh, Flygon did get a regular holographic in Dragon type, finally, when Dragon type was introduced uh, in uh, the Black and White series, this being from Black and White 6, Freeze Bolt. Again, I have this one, but I don't have the box topper version. And coming up next is a non-holographic Flygon, but it is my favorite Flygon artwork of all time. It's from Naoya Kimura. This was just a, just a non-holographic promo for Flygon, and they just took so much care and detail in creating this as well. Uh, it's a fantastic looking card from the Black and White series as well. So we'll get a nice zoom in on there. Just peacefully patrolling the forest is Flygon. 
Looks wonderful. It also got a non-holographic card, an uncommon, in Rising Fist, right here. X and Y, set number three. Had some friends in the background, too. Then we're right back to being a Dragon-type holographic card in Gaia Volcano, right here. X and Y, number five. The last two artworks there for Flygon are kind of on the cuter side for Flygon, which is an interesting take on the Mon. And the last one is going to be this Flygon EX. I believe this is like a like a gym promo of some kind. It wasn't terribly difficult to come across uh, at the time, nor is it now. Uh, I think it was one of those things where you could open up those like one card packs or you get giveaways from when you play in tournaments. Uh, something that was fairly accessible to Japanese users, uh, but... This is the last Flygon card that has ever been released, as it does not have a Sun and Moon series card yet, but I hope that they will rectify that in the future. So before I sign off, I just want to let you guys know that this is actually upload number 1,500 for me on the channel, and I really appreciate all the support throughout all of this and through the past five years or so of uploading to, you, to YouTube and now to VidMe uh, as well. Um, I really do appreciate it, uh, so thank you very much for your support. Uh, I hope to continue this for a little while. Uh, I'm not sure what the future is going to bring, uh, but for now I am committed to continuing to bring Japanese TCG openings and collection videos and the like uh, to your subscription boxes each and every day. So thank you so much for the support, I really do appreciate it, and I will hope to catch you guys tomorrow for episode number 50 of Stacks of Packs, which is really going to be special, and I hope you do enjoy.